let's continue playing Dwarf Fortress. Now, on our last episode, the extension to the apartment complex was mined out, and we decided that we needed... Well, what did we decide? Well, I think it was the last episode, we decided we needed that to be full of bins, not just individual bars. I might be a, might be remembering things incorrectly though. Anyway, I think it's time to continue playing. And we need to let that guy do things with gems so that I can train gem setter. He is a high master gem setter, isn't he? Yep, High Master Gem Setter. He needs the experience. Because I'm not going to give him anything that's incredibly valuable until he can actually use it properly. And now we're finally getting around to making battle axes. I say finally because he's been just been going around for F doing random things. And we have bags and bags and bags and bags and bags and bags there's our furniture stockpile and what are these guys doing not much apparently build trap no, not nearly enough weapons. Oh, I guess so. Well, build more traps. Ah, it was another game that I had three axes stacked on one trap. You can put up to ten weapons on a single trap. Doing so will usually make your enemies leave with fewer limbs than they start out with. Which is pretty fun. Though I think it increases the probability of the things jamming. Which wouldn't at all surprise me. Mountain is only one way away. Dance. Fight. Spin around. Spin around. Okay, that needs to get chopped down. Oh, well, screw you. I'm just going to build it that way. There. The wall. It is being built. I, I'm just... Hopefully we can get the next immigrant wave in this episode. That way we can have more dwarves. And that guy's said to be milked. And um, let's let's slaughter that little puppy there. You can tell I'm not a dog person. But it it would be even worse if we had cats. Oh, believe you me, they will breed. I tell you that much. These dwarves are running a little slower. I guess I wonder why. Nah. All right, it was some. Oh, whatever. It was some initial, some initialization file setting that had the FPS in the upper right corner, upper left corner actually. Idlers is in the upper right. Anyway, why haven't those roasts gone bad yet? It usually happens. Maybe it's all the alcohol. Because they were made with like three types of alcohol. All well minced, mind you. Now we have stew. With a destiny. This is a life for battlefield. Minced donkey tallow. Yeah. It's not exactly a good thing, but. Let's see here. Um, 300 drinks, that's fine. 
Yeah. Around mid spring, summer, and autumn, we should get a immigrant wave. But depends on but how the size of which depends on the last one, I think. I've been known to get a ridiculously large wave and then have the next one be full of nothing. Go figure. And no. Smooth stone. There we go. Smooth that stone. Huzzah! Oh, I do have a... Oh, right, I do have a... Oh, whatever. It's amazing when you f what you forget when you haven't played for a few days. And the game is as complex as, well, Dwarf Fortress. For example, I forget why my dwarves aren't making me things, like furniture. Yeah, that bucket has a decoration on it. Soper, yeah. Actually, can we make soap at this point? I actually think we can. How about that? Um, we just need... We need the wood furnace right there, and we need a soap maker's workshop and an ashery. But besides that, I think we can make soap. No. We need... Blocks. Ah. Ah, go figure. Anyway, I'm just talking to myself about things. It's not exactly good when you're doing a Let's Play, but go figure. And the puppy has been killed. I do not much care. Okay. Basically, this part of the game is just make sure nothing is going to run out and make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. But yeah. Looks like we need some more migrant dwarves in order to actually get anything done. Which is fine by me, but... I'd just rather be able to do things. Alright. Anyway. Do we have any leather workers? I don't think we do. High Master Clothier, but no. Um, Architect, no. Well, I'm sure I'll get one in the next caravan. What did he make? Ooh, nice. A bucket that's worth 650 coins. And text. This is an alder bucket. It is encircled with bands of exceptionally worked lace agate and a superior quality tiger eye. This object is adorned with hanging rings of exceptionally worked chrysoprase and menaces with spikes of masterfully worked dendritic agate by Dishab Mikofdrithdar. On the item is a superiorly designed image of Aerith ringed named the dwarf and dwarves in picture jasper by the aforementioned. This guy is surrounded by the dwarves. And it, was and it relates to the employment of the dwarf Aerith to the position of bookkeeper by the superior portals in the early summer of 1051. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? 
but it's worth 650, so it's pretty useful. It's pretty worth. It's worth a considerable amount, considering it's a bucket. Anyway, I think it's time I should sign off. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Dwarf Fortress with me, Replay Armada.